Sounds like we can still hear the we can still hear the motor doing it, so that's not good. in the motor. I guess it's off the fast lane now to do more diagnostic. Some of the motor's unhappy whether it's a lifter. But it's definitely something not happy. So something internal has got to be fixed. Could be as simple as a lifter. Could be as complicated as a rod bearing. Don't know yet. Well it's Saturday the 8th. I'm out here loading up the Mach 1. Actually going to take it to fast lane today uh, see if we can do a little more diagnostic on this thing because um, you know kind of got to the extent of what I can diagnose here at home it's definitely something internal to the engine and uh, uh, basically at this point we got to figure out what's going on with it because uh, if I can't drive it because of it knocking ain't no good to me. So we gotta pull the motor out or we gotta do something different. Well, but I gotta get it fixed. It's Sunday. I'm back from Fastlane Motorsports. We did a quick diagnostic on the car yesterday and pretty much everything looks good on the car, but it's got a definitely got a knock internally to the engine. So what that means here at this point without tearing it down and looking at it, odds are it's probably a rod bearing is what everybody seems to believe there at this point. Um, again, not sure what happened to it. Still don't know. Um, it sucks if I had like uh, not changed the oil in it or had dirty oil or low oil or anything like that, I can understand, but I'm really baffled right now because I take really good maintenance care of all my vehicles, run fresh oil in them, keep it changed on the regular. Um, so I don't know what happened to it, honestly. I'm at a loss. I take care of this like I do my red car. I actually race the red car and beat on it quite frequently, and it's perfectly fine. It actually has more miles on it than this car. Um, so I don't know what's going on with it, but either way, the motor's gotta come out. So there it is. Brought it back home for now, because I'm just not, really prepared right now to pull the motor out of the car and actually go through rebuilding it so we'll see what happens i'm gonna park it for now put it back in the garage until i get ready to work on it it's one of those things where if anything around here need to get worked on it's the black car i'd like to freshen that motor it's 12 years old and at least put some bearings and some rings in there or something and a valve job i mean just just basic wear and tear on a 12 year old race engine but at this point i just want to give an update it's um it sucks I hate having something that's got a problem where I don't know exactly what the culprit was. So again, the motor's supposed to have 50,000 miles on it. It's been rock solid for a couple of years now, but I, I don't know what happened to it. It's just one of those things, stuff breaks. So, you know, whatever, it is what it is. We're gonna fix it. I gotta decide now if I'm just gonna do the basics, just kind of fix it and stick it back in the car like it is, or if I'm gonna take the chance while it's out to go ahead and do some more stuff to it. When I say more stuff, I mean, sorry, on E85, if I've got to put pistons in it while I'm in there, might as well bump the compression up like 11 to one, give it more power, change the cam, support the heads, all the little stuff to give it the most horsepower we can. At the same time, I could dump the Kenny Bell 2.6 and go to something much better like the new Whipple 3.0 uh, Gen 5, which is a really nice blower making a lot of power right now. So I don't know, there's a lot of things I was thinking about doing. I'm just really not in the mood to build that car. I mean, the car is phenomenal like it is. It was 700 horsepower, driving anywhere we want to go. Really a nice all around car. So I don't know, uh, this was not the year I wanted to build that car. So we'll see. I got a lot of thinking about to do with it, but for now, that's the last update on the mock for a while. We're gonna put it in the garage and maybe later on I'll have some updates.